So what are we doing right now? Right now, man, we about to go meet up with Pocket, Young Sag, you know, he's the front man for the LBC movement that Snoop putting together. You know, he gonna give y'all some insight on what's going on and how everything going down in the beach right now. My role is having a conversation with Dog like a, a while before this incident took place. We were talking about putting something together for the city. And he spoke on he wanted a certain rapper from each section of Long Beach. I told him, don't worry about it, I got you. I've been doing my networking, so I reached out and I touched artists and they was with it. And, you know, I told them from the get-go what we're trying to do and everybody was with it. These are young artists. These not old men trying to get a career at the age of 40 and up. These are youngsters that run the streets. They they run the streets and they know the streets because they're in the streets, you know what I mean? So, I talked to them and got them together and I put an Insane with a 20 and I put a North Side with a North Side and I put a North Side with an Insane and a 20 and, and it all worked out. The objective for this project was, was to keep our communities safe. And I'm trying to give them a better opportunity with the help of the dog to, you know, do something different in life, make a change. That's what it's all about, making a change to keep the community safe. When kids is out, they ain't got to worry about getting shot by a straight bullet because bullets don't have no names and accidents do happen. So we're trying to prevent a lot of the nonsense that go on in the streets today with the kids. And I think by putting this project together and calling it the LBC movement, we're touching the north side, the east side, and the west side. I've been knowing Snoop for about forever. You know what I'm saying? I used to hang with him when I was a kid. You know, he, he scooped me up, took me to Vegas. I'm out of his clothes. Matter of fact, he was the first dude that took me to Magic Mountain, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but dog put the beat on, everybody started nodding, and everybody just started busting at each other with no pistols. But it wasn't it wasn't to where they were busting at each other, they was just busting representing Long Beach. And when it came down to it, it was a beautiful thing. We had to double up and do it again. Then again, and now you know the movement is, is, is official, and we just everybody on the same page. So the actors of the movie are local artists, and uh, you mentioned uh, Dr. Dre side. Yeah, but then we all gonna get in there and go through the script, and you know, and the screenplay, and do all that type of shit to get it right. You know what I'm saying? The demeanor, the acting, the words, all that shit. Dirty son playing Dr. Dre. For real, for real. So does this uh, project have uh, Snoop's and uh, Dre's blessing? Uh, Dr. Dre gave his blessing with Corrupt, say, I'm, I'm down with y'all. Make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Do you think that uh, uh, Suge would have a problem with this? He had a problem with anything. He had to be You know what I mean? But, you know, hey. Did a lot. Yeah, I mean, he's currently in jail right now. But do you think that uh, he would have did a pop up move like how he did in? Uh, yeah, you know, for his movie. But if he do his movie, he gonna he really gonna do some time. <laughs> so I don't think he gonna be doing no motherfucking movie or none of that shit. I ain't making nobody look bad in this movie. You know what I'm saying? Everybody look like something. Keep it all positive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, pot, outlaws, it don't stop. You already know what it is. They that Prince Long Beach, turn up. Yeah, yeah. That, that's Dillinger. That's corrupt young Gotti, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Melvin with the, with the Jackson cigarette. Jr. <laughs> Melvin Jackson Jr. from The Wire. Everybody is Chris, but I'm young, right. corrupt young Gotti, baby. Hey, yeah, we do sure. West Side all day. Is this the first movie you played a part of and make it? Uh, you might have been. Uh, well, we didn't do different other things. You know what I'm saying? Just about this project that we are still going in on. We did albums. Project, movie, porno movie, all kind of shit that we got <laughs> just saved up, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, it's just about who gonna give us that situation, you know what I'm saying? To get all this, you know what I'm saying? I think this gonna be the one of this. A lot of people be interested to know what was going on and what was really happening. And who better to, to let you know, give you the insight of it, the actual guys that live through it. You know, can't nobody else tell a story that they live. That's what's gonna make this shit very, very good and authentic. That's like somebody taking a, imagine an NWA movie being portrayed by Morris Chestnut, directing it and, you know. You like can't, NBA Whitney movie and all yeah, that you can't, type of stuff. Like Whitney, you, know you can't do that, you know, because you wasn't there, you going off of what they going off of, like I said, I, I talked to a bunch of people, you know what I'm saying, it's just like, we 
just got off a bunch of interviews and put a story together. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, with Nate Dogg be portrayed in the movie. Yeah, Nate Dogg. I got a Nate Dogg look alike. Is he? Yeah. Is, uh, is, it, is his family a part of the process? Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, we see him every day. But this is my story, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, man, we just appreciate everybody that came here, made it happen, man. This is the first edition, man. Fuck them other dudes, man. This is it right here.